In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Google Keyword Planner to perform keyword research for SEO purposes. Let's get started with some basic information about the tool. Google Keyword Planner is a keyword research tool provided by Google to Google Ads customers. With Google Keyword Planner, you can find keywords to use in your SEO and PPC campaigns. Google Keyword Planner is free, but to gain access to the tool, you need to create a Google Ads account. With your free account, you'll be able to use the tool and at the same time, you'll have a Google Ads account ready for running paid campaigns on the Google network. To create an account, go to Google and search for Google Keyword Planner. Visit their homepage and click Go to Keyword Planner. Click Create Account and select For Myself from the drop-down list. Fill in your first name, last name, email address, choose your password, and click Next. You'll be sent a confirmation code to verify your email address. Provide the additional information, accept the Google Terms of Service, and click Create Account. The final step is to confirm your business information. Although you won't be charged anything, Google requires this info in case you need to activate campaigns in your Google Ads account. It's important to select the correct information because you won't be able to change this for the lifetime of your account. When you're ready to proceed, click the Submit button. That's it. You've just created a new Google Keywords Planner and Google Ads account. Now that your account is set up, you can start using the keyword research tool of Google Keyword Planner. There are two tools you can use. Discover new keywords and get search volume and forecasts. With Discover new keywords, you can find keyword ideas based on broad terms or keywords related to a website or even a specific web page. With the Get Search Volume and Forecasts, you can analyze a list of keywords in bulk. Before we continue, here is an overview of the process. Think of a broad topic you want to get keywords ideas for. Type your ideas into the search box, but don't go too specific or too broad. Set your region and language. Use filters to find both seed keywords and long tail keywords to use in your blog posts and digital marketing campaigns. Let's start by clicking the Discover New Keywords option. Add some keywords and click Get Results. In my case, I've added keywords related to the SEO niche. A few things to note while viewing the results. You can click on any column name to sort the data in ascending or descending order. The average monthly searches shows the monthly search volume for a particular keyword. This information is based on historical data coming from Google. You'll notice that currently it shows a range and not the exact search volume for the particular keywords. We'll see later how to find a more accurate number. The competition column refers to how competitive ad placement is for a keyword and not how easy it is to rank for this keyword in organic search. This is different than the Keyword Difficulty column you'll find in other tools, like SEMrush or Ahrefs. So for SEO purposes, you can ignore this column. The Top of Page Bid Low Range and Top of Page Bid High Range columns show how much you will pay per click if you target the particular keyword in your paid ads. While this is primarily for PPC campaigns, as you'll see later, it can be useful for SEO purposes as well. You can ignore the rest of the columns or even remove them from your view by clicking the Columns icon. The next step is to refine your keywords and exclude brand-related keywords from your list. This is particularly useful if you want to remove keywords related to known brands like Google, competitor keywords, or even keywords that are no longer valid. For example, keywords that reference a period in the past. To do that, Click the Refine Keywords button and navigate through the list. Uncheck the box for the keywords you want to exclude. After excluding brand-related and invalid keywords, you're now ready to start selecting keywords for your SEO campaigns.
A nice tip to find valuable SEO keywords is to sort the keywords by clicking on the Top of Page Bid High Range column. This column shows you how much advertisers are willing to pay to secure a top position of their ads in the Google search results for a particular keyword. How is this related to SEO? If advertisers are paying a lot for a keyword, it means it has more value to them and it's more likely to generate conversions. These are great keywords to target with SEO because you know in advance that a top organic ranking for such a keyword will generate sales and conversions for your business free of charge. For now, spot the keywords that are highly related to your website and proceed to the next step. Unlike other keyword research tools, the Google Keyword Tool does not allow you to filter the results by the number of words. This is a useful feature in other tools that makes it easy to find long-tail keywords that are highly relevant to your target keyword and easier to rank for. Follow this nice trick to do that with Google Keyword Planner. We know that long-tail keywords usually start with words like best, top, what, how, who, and why. So by creating a filter and adding those words as mandatory, you can get a list of long-tail keywords. Let's see how to do this. Click the Add Filter button and select Keyword from the list. Type one of the keywords and click Apply. You'll notice now that the results show you long tail keywords that were not shown before. Sort the above table using the top of page bid high range column, and you'll find some extremely valuable long tail keywords to use in your blog posts. You can add more keyword filters to get better results. I've mentioned before that Google Keyword Planner doesn't show the exact search volume of keywords, but a range. Let's see how to bypass this problem. First, select the keywords that make sense for your campaigns. You can do this by clicking the Keyword checkbox or by clicking the checkbox for selected keywords. Then click the Add Keywords button. This will add the keywords to your plan. Click Keywords from the left menu. You'll notice that the average search volume column has been replaced with the number of impressions. Impressions is the number of times your ads are expected to be seen in Google search results for that keyword for the particular region and language. To make your results more accurate, follow these two steps. Click the little arrow on top of your plan to expand the plan detail. Move the blue dot that indicates the max CPC to the top right. Next, click the Keyword checkbox to select all keywords. Click on Edit Match Type and set it to Exact Match. What you see now is the number of impressions each keyword is estimated to receive for the maximum CPC bid. This presents a more accurate picture. In fact, the results now are very close to the monthly search volume estimate given by other keyword research tools. Another great feature of Google Keyword Tool is the Start with a Website. When selecting this option from the Discover New Ideas tool, you can get keyword ideas based on your own website or a competitor's website. For example, to find out keywords related to a specific website, you can enter the website's domain in the search box Select Use the Entire Site and click Get Results. Next, you can add some filters to exclude brand-related keywords and search terms that are not of interest. To find unique keywords that are not yet known to you, filter the results to Exclude Keywords Already in Your Plan. Another nice feature of Google Keyword Planner is the Get Search Volume and Forecasts tool. To open the tool, click Get Search Volume and Forecasts from the main menu. This tool does two things. First, it allows you to see the search volume of a number of keywords at once. You can either type your keywords, one per line, or upload a list of keywords using a file, 
This lifts the limitation of 10 keywords at a time when using the Discover New Keywords tool. Second, it gives you a prediction on how the keywords might perform in the future. Type a few keywords in the search box and click Get Started. The results will appear in the same view as before, and you can use all tips to filter the data and find which keywords to add to your plan. To get a prediction on how your keywords will perform in the future, click the Date Picker from the top menu and select a future period. A unique feature of the Google Keyword Planner that can prove very useful when doing keyword research for local SEO purposes is the Location Filter, available in every step of the process. With the Location Filter, you can see data related to a particular country, city, or even specific postcodes. Here's an example. Let's say that you want to find out what people search for related to Italian restaurants in a particular city. You can start with the Discover New Keywords tool by entering the keywords Italian restaurants and then select a city from locations. Click Get Results. As you can see, many keywords in the list include the words near me. This is normal and expected since we are doing research for local related terms. But for finding blog post ideas, you better exclude these keywords. You can do this by adding a filter. Click Add Filter. Select Keyword. Select Does Not Contain. Type in Near Me and click Apply. You can now select the keywords you want and add them to a new plan. You can get more location-related data by analyzing your keywords with the Locations and the Plan Overview reports. Every time you perform keyword research and add keywords to a plan, this is saved in draft mode in your account. When you log in again to Google Keyword Planner, you can select one of your draft plans and continue your work. If you want to download your data offline, you can export your keyword in a .csv file to use with Excel or directly to a Google Sheets file. You can do this by clicking the Download button at any stage of your research.